No cows are injured in the making of this video. Hi, this is Told Welcome, and today we're looking at Bruce Tarl, Tarl, the roving rancher, two mana, one red, one white, four three, and when it enters, or Oxen has double strike, but when it enters the battlefield or attacks, you exile the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you make an ox. Otherwise, you can cast it until the end of your next turn. Um, so we're pairing Bruise with uh, Mother of Machines, which you would think doesn't really work that well because it doesn't work on the attack trigger, but it doesn't work on the enter the battlefield trigger. Um, so, you know, there's that. And then we have, like, Ossification. We got the Holy Cows that we're going with, you know, so they do, you know, two life and a scry when they enter, so we could double that up. We could also duplicate the Holy Cow, which is what, what we're kind of looking to do. You know, once we have Bruise out there, you know, we'll have a 2-2 two -two flying double striker. And then we could du duplicate that. So, like, that's eight mana type of situation. And then we're also going with the Bovine Intervention. And the idea behind the Bovine Intervention is is a two mana, 2-2 two -two ox creature with double strike, hopefully. And so we want to target our own stuff. So we got stuff like the... Novice Inspector, the Diamond Pickaxe, which we could just target. And, you know, it's got Indestructible, so it can't be killed. It also makes treasure tokens that we could target in the future. Um, and, you know, the Extruder is there, so we could target the Extruder if we needed to. Um, but, yeah, that's the deck. Let's get into some games and see how we do. No creatures got a mulligan, that sucks. No creatures again? Oh, well, we got a 2 2 boar or ox, but we don't even have anything to make it. Uh, send the pain land. Can't go down another one. It sucks! Fourteen cards, no creatures? Okay. There's one. I might have to use it on them, but... Ideally, we're not removing their stuff, but... At least a little guy, for sure. And the Holy Cow has Flash, so we always do it at their end step. Oof. I think we're still gonna go with the Holy Cow, even though they could have Counterspelled up. Uh, you can always bovine it. Get a braid on there on my turn. They might have protection. They do have something, huh? One mana protection. Mm, like, we're gonna need that if we find the good stuff. But we're gonna need more removal, I'm pretty sure. Whenever an aura enters the battlefield. So Elish Norn shuts that down completely. It's kind of a race. the stand baby we know you got it or you could have the indestructible one I guess from the white well what I want countered I want this one That's a good one. I 
I guess I want the braid countered now. Can I get my spell back? I mean, I just have to kill this. I probably have another one. Maybe I did that wrong. Like, it's a bad turn, I guess. Good monstrous rage. Very bad turn, I guess. Which is this part? Yeah, I don't know. And they saved Kellen, but they lost the light paws. Is this a legendary? It is. So they have the Plaza Heralds up, which is bad. Ooh, we we need that double striker. have more protection in their hand guaranteed they could have the untap it costs three right I mean, it's a wash, but we make a treasure. So we can cast the Holy Cow on my turn. On their turn, rather. At their end step. Kellen's gonna start getting bigger. So, I mean... We need that double striker. They might even just be holding removal in their hand as well. Right? Need that double strike. I guess we'll take it. Then we'll get to see the removal spell, maybe? Or their Plaza Heroes? What is he like? Blue, white, green. Block him. Oh, did I do that wrong? Yeah, I messed it up. Click the button. Uh, so we do want. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we'll see if they have removal. Right? We do have protection. They're 22. This should be on the one of those. That would have been better. I mean... I'm gonna keep up protection. Right? That would just be um, six extra damage this turn. We do it next turn. We should have lethal. Are they go going for an aura to remove our creature? Oh no. Okay. But you're, you're, you're dead next turn. Oh 
One, two. One, two, one. Oh, you got vigilance, eh? Where are you? Green? White? Protection from blue? What do I need to get him up to? Nine power? We could have a Wandering Emperor. So he gains six. Two, four, six. That's the question. I don't want to kick myself if I don't attack with everything, right? Lose the game. That should do it, right? 12, 14, 18, 19. We haven't declared blockers yet. Ah, Bruce Tall, and then double strike. Um, can't block him. Can't block him. It's cool. You're tapped out. Gain your six life. Good deal. Pants. <laughs> All right. Pretty good hand. Cow on three. This on four, four damage, possibly. They don't kill the cow. Do we double cow? I don't know. Talia doesn't really matter. We blocking that though. This is gonna block that one. I mean, that's ten damage, right? Oh, that's really great. Double blocker now. That's a great hit. Does that get exiled? Exile the top card of the land. Oh, so you don't get the land. Pretty sweet. Guess I'll be taking three. Double strike. <laughs> I guess you don't know how double strike works. Okay. We go with the land. I can go with another cow. Three, four, they can do. Can we send them both? Oh, that's even better. Then we can get lost the vanguard if they double block. Right? Talios, I, mean, I guess it could get up there. We're looking real good. We do need another cow, though. I mean, okay. Yeah, it was over. So we, this is a five, a 
that's 10 damage, and then we duplicate it, so another 4. Uh, not the best hand, but you know me, I don't like the mulligan. Uh, we just need an artifact to sacrifice. Maybe we can find a investigation token. Man, I have to keep it, right? Do I? I mean, maybe it's dumb. Could play in black. I'm just gonna kill, whatever. Probably have sacrifice, kill spells. So we need four, five, six, seven mana before we can cast that. Yeah. Wicked roll? That's crazy talk. On that guy? Okay. Two or fewer. I don't really want to kill that guy. You're right. Don't. Oh. Now that hurts. I guess we got a bovine intervention flashing, which is gonna really suck. We could just kill this guy. I think we need to use it as a blocker. <sighs> a really weird play. to blockers block this with the monstrous rage oh it's so weird it's trying to stay alive protection from red protection from blank Okay, I mean, sure. <laughs> Gotta go with Alice Norn, right? Leave my defenses down. Maybe I should have attacked in, he wouldn't have blocked that. He could have removal. If he doesn't have removal, we get two creatures. And then we attack in. And we get to protect. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yep. Gotta get that other guy killed. This guy. Send him in, I'll block him. I guess we got two incubator tokens. Investigation tokens. Who tokens? That's pretty good. Um Yeah, I'll just start the pain train. What are you gonna do? I mean you block the four with Alice Norn on the link breaker. Guess not. We'll pop a clue token. Maybe I could have did it on my turn in case I drew a land. I don't know if I played land. When this guy dies, this is it. Uh... Sneaky boy got a lot of my hand. Let's see what we can do. 
I think I'm gonna hold that land. Is this non land? Can we go with them both? I mean, I don't know why he's not blocking with the Link Breaker, but... I guess I have Sacrifice. Discards two cards. Oh, you could choose the other part, huh? Well then, I guess we'll do that. Probably draw the other one too. Five, six, seven. They're at eight. Five, six, seven. I'm at ten. Leave one guy back just in case. I really just want to do the one damage to the dead eye duelist. To kill him with the extruder. And then we can kill their mercenary. This is a full desperation mode. Ooh. No, we want this one. I'm taking five. Uh, do we just kill him? Let's just kill him. Double triggers from Ellis Norn. No cows in this game. No cows are injured in the making of this video. Oh, jeez. How now, brown cow? Is that how it goes? I don't know. But we're back and looking pretty good. Uh, pretty dialed in. The little tiny little additions like... Um, you know, you need that instant speed removal, and you need that protection nowadays. Uh, just a little bit. The Molten Duplication hasn't worked out really that great. Um, it needs more testing, I think, to see if it's any good. But the idea is to copy a Holy Cow with Bruised Tarl out, and then, you know, that's eight dam or four damage with Double Striker. Maybe that's not that great, but you could also copy an artifact. So with Ellis Norn out, you can copy an extruder. Then I guess you could sack the extruder, sack the copy to the original extruder. So for four mana, you can do you know two four damage and make a three three. So I guess that's pretty good. Talk myself into it. If there's anything else you want to copy. Now, Inti's legendary. These are legendary. One of Inti's pretty good. Um, and we have... Um, it looks like we have a lot of removal. But... I mean, a dial flail could do it, but it's never going to happen. Too slow. Hey, that's too slow. But it could turn a uh, double striking holy cow into an eight damage liar. Um... It looks like we have a lot of removal, but we don't. We have um, nine pieces of removal, sort of. I mean, these are kind of weak, but, you know, they're good for the early game. And then this is, you know, later game. These ones we really want to make cows with, right? Like, we're hoping to use this on our own artifacts, you know, our treasure tokens or our diamond pickaxe or our clue tokens. That's kind of the concept. But, you know, they can go double, double duty. Yeah, this is the Ruth Tarl How Now Brown Cow deck. So we'll try it out. It's pretty fun. Um, nice, interesting, pretty fast pace, kind of aggro to, to combo type of deck. Probably more of a combo style deck, I would say. You know, you're waiting on getting bruise out to finish them off as opposed to, you know, just like mono red aggro. It's, you're just giving double strike to something. So that is something that we could look at is there's this free double striker. Right. 
the Rustler's Rampage. I think I had thought about that in the past. But... I don't know, untap all creatures. I don't really have a tapper, tapper, tapa tapa creatures type of thing. And with Emperor going away, you know, this is uh, rotation safe. All the way down to the land, so should be good. But yeah, this has been told. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.